So this is a late night test just to compare um, two of the CPAP machines. These are the two that we've done cleaning videos on in the last day. So here is a brand new Philips sleep style. I unpacked it out of the box. It has zero running hours and here is a brand new Philips Dream Station straight out of the box, zero running hours. These are both set up exactly the same. 12.5 starting pressure. They have the humidity set to about the same. They have water chambers filled to the same level. And using the exact same mask, which is a ResMed F20 for her. The for her just means it is a slightly smaller headgear than the um, F20 small. I'm just going to pause this so I can put the headgear on my head. We're going to see what the Dream Station sounds like. Then I'm quickly going to change hoses and we're going to hear what this sleep style sounds like. So I'm just going to put on the headgear. So I sound a bit muffled. I've got the headgear on. So here we go. Start. Here we go. Okay, so yeah, so that was the the Phillips. Now let's switch over to the Fisher and KKL. So I think you can agree with me that the Fisher and Paykel is all but silent. You can barely tell it's in operation. The Philips makes quite a lot of hissing sound and has a bit of a wheeze on the in and out. Now both machines felt quite comfortable. Uh, I could easily sleep with the, with the Philips. It's very comfortable. Uh, I think it's in my opinion, a bit more comfortable than the ResMed. Uh, it certainly feels like it has more power. Uh, but the winner for me is, of course, the Fisher and Paykel. So that's a good comparison side by side in real life situation. Now, let's show you this is actually real life. That's a water bottle, by the way, that I fill the water chambers up if they run out in the middle of the night. This is my actual bed. So this is a real life test. It's a brand new mask that hasn't been worn before and these are brand new machines out of the box. Uh, these are uh, courtesy of a wonderful CPAP, com CPAP company. I will acknowledge at the end of the video. So if you want me to do these again, I'll just pause and we'll listen again, just so you can hear again and make your own mind up. So we'll start with this one.
Okay. So you can see that was working. So now we'll swap we're swapping to the other end. Plug in and run. So there we have it, and I think you can make up your own mind um, which machine you want to sleep aside. Now there are advantages. This machine can't run on on DC voltage; it only runs on AC to 40 to 20 volts, I believe. This machine can run on naked 12 volt. So this is fantastic for caravans. If I was travelling, I would certainly choose this because it will run off a DC voltage. Uh, without any loss of real power. It's quite a strong, robust machine. Uh, I really am fond of Philips, um, but it loses in the noise category. It's quite noisy and sound. That's not something I would want some somebody else to have to listen to. This, on the other hand, you don't even know it's running. Absolutely perfectly silent. As far as accessibility goes to the components, I think each is fairly good. Uh, there's a better option for filters in the Philips, not so much in the F&P. Um, hose length is about the same in each, but the look, if you look at the hose width, the uh, Philips is using a slim line. The Fisher and Paykel is using a standard size width hose. And I think that helps reduce the noise for the Fisher and Paykel. Um, this hose is pretty much identical to the ResMed heated hose. This is completely different. It is heavily insulated, so this requires a lot less energy and um, you don't have um, drown out problems with water condensing in the hose anywhere near as much with this. I've actually used this machine for probably half a year now. So I got this machine the day it was released. Um, so I've tried quite a few of these. I've actually listened to six of these separate machines over the time just because I like to listen to see if I fluked it. So sometimes, you know, when you get a, a machine and you get a good one and I wanted to know if there were bad ones and if there was different. So I've slept with six different machines thanks to a wonderful CPAC company I'll mention in the credits. Uh, and I can say without a doubt, these are completely reliable. I have broken ResMed machines to the point that ResMed refunded me because I sometimes cough and the coughing was destroying the filters and the motors in the ResMed. I haven't tried coughing in the Philips, but why don't we give that the cough test now? Okay, so I have my mask on. We're gonna do the cough test. I've got to say, ooh, ah, I think I broke it. 
So the cough test is when you cough with a mask on and you send a big pressure wave or pressure wave down the hose. Uh, I don't know whether you heard it, but they, a second note came into the inspiration expiration line after I did the cough test and I noticed a slight pressure drop off. That means that there's a seal dislodged somewhere. So I would say that the Phillips is not as robust as the Fisher and Paykel. It looks like I may have damaged it with the cough test. And that's a good test to make because everybody coughs uh, when you have extra pressure on your lungs, you have a cold, something triggers you, you're going to cough. It's a natural reflex uh, and you should be able to cough with a CPAP on, with uh, expiratory relief on or off, it shouldn't make any difference. Uh, so the fact that this machine was impacted, this is a brand new machine out of the box, it's still got the nice sticky tape there, you can see. So it's brand new and I think I kind of buggered it. So look, I'm just going to end this review here and you can make what you will of the two machines. Uh, ResMed F10, it's quieter than this machine, noisier than this one. Uh, it sends a lot, of, a lot of noise down the hose into your face. So it comes out here. So that's not where you want to have noise directly into your head. You can't escape it. And the cough test, the uh, ResMeds died with the cough test. They actually refunded me the machine. And I think I just broke this brand new Philips cream station. So that kind of buggered my review a bit with this. So my clear winner for noise and for the cough test um, is this machine and it has quite a nice neat small footprint too you see it takes up very little of my table looks a bit like a board cube really so yeah uh, it has a winning hose design um, the only interesting thing about this machine is that it has it's not a serviceable machine it has a massive five-year warranty and the machine can be replaced anytime inside that five-year warranty but it can never be opened or repaired. The Philips Dream Station and the ResMed can be repaired, but those repairs after the warranty are expensive. ResMed has a five year extended warranty, which will repair or replace inside that five years. Philips, even with a five year warranty, will only cover the cost of replacement and repairs for those two years. Um, after two years, you have to pay for the parts. Um, so yeah, the warranty is not so great on the Philips. So take all that into consideration when you're shopping for a CPAP machine. Um, you will notice that the noise the CPAP machine makes is perhaps the biggest issue and then followed by the comfort of whether it can keep up with your rapid in inhalations. You don't want to feel like you're sucking air. So this is, again, this is a clear winner. It's got a much more powerful motor. So there's my review. I hope you enjoyed that and I hope you appreciated the real life situation here. It's late at night. Um, I'm in my bedroom, so I wanted to give you a real life scenario. So yes, I don't, I don't own two CPAP machines, only one. So I'm going to leave this here and good night.